We're here today to introduce Nutraco's 2021 Sustainability Report. And I'm here with our CEO, Foco Van Lede. Foco, what tangible progress have you seen so far in 2021? Well, the report showcases the great work by the teams across our business who are dedicated to a purpose of feeding the future. Uh, and it also demonstrates our commitment to the UN Global Compact and the Sustainable Development Goal subtargets. What is your takeaway of 2021 and beyond? Well, in 2021, COVID-19 continued to impact uh, the employees and the communities in all our markets. And as we adjusted to ever-changing measures and did our part to help keep the food supply chain functioning. And while we've seen positive improvements in recent months, we expect continuous uncertainty for 2022 as a result of the war in Ukraine. Now, obviously, we'll keep working to ensure the safety of our Ukrainian colleagues and their families and to safeguard our operation uh, there so that we can ensure the continuity in the wider supply chain. And 2021 was a year of transitioning to embed our sustainability strategy into the business. How would you sum up the progress we've made? Well, despite the external challenges in 2021, our team stayed very much focused on rolling out our new Roadmap 2025 sustainability strategy. And as the first full year transitioning to the new strategy, we focused on setting up systems to measure and monitor our progress. And at the same time, we continue to take steps forward on our ambitions. As you say, by going through an exercise of embedding the sustainability strategy into the core of our business strategy. Under the health and welfare pillar of our roadmap, what is the highlight that particularly struck you the most, Volko? Well, for sure, the, uh, a project in Brazil where we help uh, to address the serious issue of antimicrobial resistance. And we're collaborating there closely with our customers, co-creating solutions to reduce and ultimately eliminate the use of antibiotics that are critically important for human medicine uh, in the poultry sector. Climate change is front and center on the global agenda and is another of our three pillars in Roadmap 2025. We know that Nutreco has stepped up to play its part in addressing this issue. What has struck you the most? Well, our climate and circularity pillar reflects our recognition of the tremendous urgency of addressing climate change. And we're making progress on our commitment to science-based targets, though this is not yet fully reflected in our emission factors. The current focus is on creating a framework to support our OPCOs in executing projects to address emission reduction in a systematic way with energy efficiency improvements. And this will help us move the needle on emissions in the future. Our third pillar in our roadmap is good citizenship. Gender equality is central and our women are watching. What would you say to them? Well, I think we made good progress because the main KPI we're striving towards on our good citizenship pillar is to have women leaders filling 30% of our senior management positions by 2025. And in 2021, we made a good first step, increasing the percentage from 21% to 23%. So good news, positive development, uh, but still not hitting our target. So room to grow further and dedication to make that happen. This conversation has only been able to offer you a glimpse of the work we're doing on our sustainability journey. I encourage you to go online and check out our sustainability report where you can discover many stories of the fantastic work we're doing to achieve our purpose of feeding the future.